Hi guys, welcome back to the Smart Garden at Romian House. As you know, we've been focusing on water solutions for the whole farm. We put in swales, we put in water batteries. We're doing a load of work basically to maximize our water retention. We've lined the pond. Today, we're gonna do something a little bit different on a micro level, a lot smaller level. We are gonna have a go at making oyas. Spell O-L-L-A-S, but it's pronounced oya. So this is a very ancient technique for storing water in the ground that slowly permeates through terracotta pots. It's a little pot in the ground, you fill it with water and the water gradually seeps through the pot and waters your plants. They can take about a week to empty, maybe four days sometimes, depending on the evaporation rates and things, how big your pot is. Uh, but today we're going to be building some. Fortunately today Lisa is fired up, ready to help. So we should be able to get those, uh, we should be able to get these built really fast with her assistance. This must be one of the easiest projects I've attempted so far. All you need is a terracotta plant pot and saucer to fit. Turn the pot upside down and then with some silicon sealer, glue the two parts together. Very easy. I wouldn't go much bigger than I've done here as it could get a little unwieldy if it was much bigger and put more strain on the silicon joint. It's possible, but you may need some additional reinforcement if you do that. Maybe we'll try that in a future video. Once you've added the silicon, then you need to run a finger around the silicon to push it into the joint and make a nice seal. If you don't like getting messy here, probably best to use some thin gloves. Then all we need to do is leave that to set very well for 24 hours. So yesterday, guys, we finished the oyas. We glued the saucers to the main terracotta vases. Uh, it's been 24 hours since we silicon the, the saucers on. So now's it, now it's time to test them. Let's do that. Now we're also going to be adding one extra feature on these which I haven't seen done anywhere else so maybe this is a first. We are going to be adding level indicators. This is cool, look at this. So what I've done here, I've cut, I've cut off short lengths of PE pipe and one end I've just filled with silicon sealer. I'm making four of these today, so uh, this is why we've got five of them. So I don't think this has been done before. Often you get uh, oyas made on YouTube, but there's no way of telling how full they are. And you either have to top them up regularly, or you have to stick your finger in the top or something, to try and work out. Now what we're gonna try is use this as a level gauge. So let's see what happens. So pretty much if the if the pipe is sticking out, that, that will give you an indication of how much. If the pipe's all the way down the bottom like that, then it's empty. Okay. Finally that's full. Again, we've got one of the uh, level detectors here, one of the level indicators, so let's pop that in. There we go. What I'll do is I'll just put this on the floor on a dry spot to check it doesn't leak. These look pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with these, actually. What do you think, Rudy? Your input, and Lisa, what was your input? It was 100%, yeah? Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with these, they're very good. I think this one wants some dinner. Yeah, 
You want some dinner, Rudy? So uh, I might have to take a quick break and feed these guys. See you shortly. Hi guys, so yesterday we filled up the oyers with water, we put in the level detectors and I've left them overnight on the ground so we can easily see whether they're leaking or not. And you know what? They look pretty damn good to me. I'm really pleased with these, they've come out well. Let me show you how they came out. As you can see, these are very slightly damp. Water will slowly seep out into the soil where we bury them. Guys, I'm pretty pleased with these. They were so easy to do. They took less than five minutes each one. Um, they're cheap, they're terracotta pots. They're not expensive to buy. I think this is a really good way of watering your garden. So the next stage, guys, is to bury these oils in the ground. I've got some Thai egg plants that I planted the other day along with a small tree. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna plant it in the middle of these and hopefully what that will do is bring water to all of this area here. Let's get digging. So we've made a start on that guys. It's, uh, it's not too hard, but I'm gonna fill a hole with a little bit of water, let that soak in, hopefully soften it up a bit. Hey guys, just finished burying the oya. Um, it looks pretty good to me. I might have buried it just a little bit too low, but that's okay, not too bad. What I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do now is just uh, make sure it's nice and full of water, uh, water the plants around it so it helps with all the water flow, etc. Um, see how it does, here we go. So guys, you don't have to use these level indicators. That's just an idea I came up with. Uh, but if you don't use them, you should really use a cork or a small piece of wood or something just to stop the hole. It stops the water evaporation. Um, but uh, I really quite like them. I think they're quite cute. Um, let's see how they do. This looks pretty good to me. I'm happy with this. As ever, I'd like to say thank you to my hard-working dog team. They're hard at work in the background. You don't see the work they do, but they're always there giving their best effort. Look. So if you are thinking of installing your own oyers, please let me know how it goes. And also if you add the level indicators and find them useful. It's always great to hear from you and also get feedback from the community in general so we can improve as much as possible. Uh, anyway, I'll leave it there guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Take care